Time to show you some of this morning's headlines. The Los Angeles Times says the Defense Department and the CIA are accused of pressuring medical workers to abuse detainees at Guantanamo Bay. The Columbia University report comes after two years of public record searches. Doctors, nurses, and psychologists were allegedly required to help carry out waterboarding and force feeding of hunger strikers. The Washington Post says a bill banning discrimination against gays in the workplace cleared a key hurdle. Senate voted Monday to formally begin consideration of the bill. Seven Republicans joined 54 Democrats. The bill is expected to pass later this week. The San Francisco Chronicle says strong demand is leading Twitter to raise its share price ahead of its IPO this week. It is now 23 to 25 dollars a share. That sets Twitter value as high as 13.6 billion dollars. And the Houston Chronicle says Texans coach Gary Kubiak has been tested for a mini stroke. He collapsed during a game Sunday night. Kubiak may have suffered what is known as a TIA. It's caused by blood clots, just like a stroke. No word this morning when he will return to the team.